Out of everybody on the server, a player named C4 has proven to be the strongest. From killing every player, to obtaining infinite gear, to striking fear into every player that crosses him, he's done it all. And with my team being the brokest on the server, how would I even compare to his power? Now the thing about having a weaker team is that I knew they would trust me a lot, and since I was the best PvPer on the team, I knew that I could pick off a few players and gain my team's trust more. The reason I needed their trust was simple. Since C4 was the most powerful player on the server, I was going to secretly join his team, and after gearing up, I was able to get a few kills. You see, on this server, swords cannot be crafted, and every time you kill someone, you gain an enchant on your sword. Also, by sacrificing a certain amount of enchants, you can upgrade your sword to the next tier. For now, everyone is on wooden, making kills much easier to get. But in the time it took me to kill only two players, C4 had gotten full protection 3 diamond armor and absolutely massacred everyone in sight. Now, I actually used to be in the server almost a whole year ago, and back then, me and my teammates all had netherite swords, infinite gear, and killed players until we became one of the most feared factions on the server, just to lose it all in the end fight to the same person that I'm trying to join right now. If I can join a team with C4, then I could possibly recreate the feeling of being the most powerful. So that was exactly my plan. But if I wanted to dominate the server with one of the best players, dying to his team like 5 seconds ago probably wouldn't help my case much. Bro, can I get it back without dying? Yes, take it. But while talking with C4 at my weakest point, he said this. By the way, yeah? me and Danjo intend on betraying at one point. You do? Why he chose to tell me this out of all people confused me a lot, but considering I was his enemy, I knew there had to be a reason. I'm gonna go grind at their base. I decided to head back to the base where I had died previously, and although it was risky, I knew I would need gear if I ever wanted to join the strongest player on the server. Luckily, I was cool with everyone there, and I was able to get max out gear within an hour. Now all that was left to do was message C4 to talk. And with my team's trust at an all-time high, I went to bed, ready to secretly betray them the next day. When I woke up on day 2, I found my teammate grinding at the same base I had just used. And with C4 also being there, I made up an excuse to go talk to him. Yo, Villa, I'll be right back. I'm gonna try to, like, negotiate peace with C4's team. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> Hello? And with the strongest player standing right in front of me, I needed to start talking quickly. So basically what I, I wanted to talk about, right? Um, I'm gonna be honest. Yesterday was like kind of rough for my team. I feel like the whole reason I died was like kind of because of my team. Like, I don't know. I feel like they've gotten me killed and they're like not really reliable teammates. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if I could like join your team. I am solo. I don't have a team. I'm just really? truce with people. Yeah, you can you can join my team, but we'll need to do some things first. Luckily, I was in, and my team had no idea. Although C4 now trusted me, I needed to play my cards right. In other words, I needed to prove myself as a good teammate without blowing my cover to my other team. Yeah, so um, I was talking to C4. Um, I'm pretty sure we're chill now. Immediately, I traveled far away to start constructing a base that my team, as well as C4, could use. In order to make sure C4 thought I was a worthy teammate, I created three goals so I could prove myself. The first was to make a really good base where we could all grind any resources we needed. The second goal was that I had to kill everyone I could to get as many enchants as possible. And lastly, I wanted to be one of the first few people to wield a netherite. Seeing how I was only on wooden and C4 was already on iron, I needed to finish this base so that I could start getting kills. While I was working on it though, a player wanted to talk about a deal or something. Hello? Yeah. Okay, Dolphin, I wanted to make a deal with you. Really? So how many enchants do you have? Just to know. Like none. Like, are you at a uh, base? Where are you at? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to help you, I guess. But you would have to help me. I wanted to help you as well. Your team would do again? Okay, can I join your team? It seemed like he wanted to be on good terms, so I added him to my team, even though I was just gonna betray them later. While I was talking, though, I was able to finish the base, and a little bit later, I sent the cords to C4. Why is his name C5? I don't know. Who did that? No clue. He seemed pretty impressed by it, so with my first goal complete, we went to look for kills so that I could start upgrading my sword. Where's the outer layer in the nether? I see him. Do you want me to come help you kill him? He doesn't see. Hey, weapon. I'm He's boxing like, it. I boxed him in. I'm not fighting back. Wait, his stuff might be. Oh, he's lagging to hell. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 
I don't tell him because you won't get taken credit. Oh. Thankfully, we found a player in the nether and made quick work of him. After a little while of searching, we decided to head to the base I found on day one. And to our surprise, there was actually an entire team there. Knowing we couldn't take this fight, we decided to call up Scythe Age to help us out. And thus began my first fight alongside T4. Why did they- why does he have a diamond sword, bro? Going into this fight, I knew that I needed to get a kill to prove myself. Oh my gosh, he hurts. Did I just hit the iron golem? Hey, be careful, be careful. I'm dead. Dude. Unfortunately, Scythe H had died, and dying here would show that I was weak, meaning I had to escape. Oh, wait, what? Storms wants to take ones with me. I'm gonna take Storms far away. Oh my gosh, he does all, all my health. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my god. Like, go. Wait, I'm in a one by one. Just keep digging. Please just stop digging, bro. Stop digging. He's on top of me. Oh my god. I'm so cooked. I'm so cooked. I'm like dead, bro. He's on you? Bro, you don't understand. We're in like a cave, bro. We're not even a cave. We're in a one block hole. Yeah. Just, just web yourself? No, we, we are webbed. He's sitting me still. He's, I'm dead, yeah. Unfortunately, I had died. But I knew this wouldn't be the last chance I would get to kill these players. And in the time that I spent gearing up, D4 had asked me to help him dig out an area for a new secret base. Then somehow, like, five different people already found the one I just made. While digging out the base, though, we just sort of talked about random stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Is he dying? Yes, the villager's fucking dying, bro. Bro. Come on. He's too fat. Bro. Nah, this thing is huge. What the hell? Yeah. What are we doing with all this space? I don't know. This helped me trust C4 a little bit more, but if I wanted him to not betray me, we would need to find more people to kill. Luckily, I had found someone from the fight last night in the nether, and after calling C4 as well as another teammate, we decided to tail him. Um, negative 800. Negative 800, positive 500. Right. Forget about grabbing. I'm gonna go for... Okay. Far, far, go help, um, go help, oh yeah, go help, no, go for the I got his water. Yeah, I see you guys, I see you guys. We're heading northwest. Let's see, I'm gonna turn off the power, turn off the power, I need to go back to the side. His helmet broke, his helmet broke. His boots broke too. I got him. Eventually, one of his other teammates pulled up from the previous fight and I was able to kill him, granting me an enchant. But seeing how useless our teammate was made us want to betray him as soon as we got the chance. So after heading back to the base, we waited for the perfect opportunity to kill Artfire. Wait, what if I made this like a bunker? Hold up, wait. Wait, yeah, I'm cooking. This is my one. Don't touch these. And then... Oh, I'm out. Here you go, my good son. Uh, I don't have any space. Uh, There's no way. Drop another enchant. We won't steal your stuff. No, I don't have more enchants. Like, is there nothing else I can do? No, you just, just drop, drop another enchant. enchant. And if I drop an enchant, you will still be clean with me. Sure. Uh, sure. I guess. I just really need enchant. Wait, what enchant is this? Looting? Oh, bad. <laughs> you still kill me? No, please don't. Please don't. Look, have some respect, though. Oh, GG's. <laughs> I, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I just everything. Leave the group. <laughs> no! Bro! Bro! I'm gonna upgrade the iron. 
Let's go. I got Iron Toughness 1. And after gaining three enchants from that encounter, we were pretty up. Thankfully, our team was already planning to betray him anyways, and three players already left the team, making our job much easier. Unfortunately, our fire was one of the most innocent players on the server, making us a huge target by multiple different teams. I decided to go to bed for the night, but while I was asleep, tragedy had struck. Somehow, C4 had died, and now there was no turning back. We needed to get our revenge soon. The next day, I found a wandering trader at spawn selling gunpowder, and normally this wouldn't be a big deal. However, on the server, villager cooldowns are completely removed, meaning we basically had infinite gunpowder. Knowing how big of an advantage this was, I called up C4 to show him what I had found, and so that he could help transport him to our new base. I can build another portal. Okay. He's in, he's in. Oh, yeah? The bow jump, bro. Okay. Alright. Yeah, it's right over there. You see the stone bridge? Yeah, hold on. Wait, I see someone. Who the hell is that? Oh, is that guy? I'm gonna shoot at him, and hopefully he goes away. Yeah, make him dead, make him dead. <laughs> he fell down. Okay, he's dipping, he's dipping. Alright, I need to, like, go around. You got swift sneak, bro. That's only swift sneak, too. Uh, <laughs> Doing the most for just a... Uh, Alright, uh, yeah, he's good. Bro, that was so much just for this one guy. I know. <laughs> we have Monopoly on um, gunpowder, though. Yeah. Thankfully, after a little while, the job was done. And with practically unlimited gunpowder now, I figured it wouldn't hurt to make a few cart traps around the server. But I needed to get back on track to completing my goals. By now, C4 had the best sword on the server, and if I wanted to keep up with him, we would need to get kills fast. So we went hunting, killing players, and finding bases for pretty much the whole day. Got him. Oh. Eventually, C4 had to get off, but I was still hungry for kills. So I made the mistake of hunting for kills with my teammate Villa. Okay, buddy. I got looting. No, I'm being fake. I need this looting, bro. You're at oh my god, bro. You're actually so weird. Bro, 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 aren't you grinding in chance anyway? I realized that all the time I had spent with C4, I also spent neglecting my team, and because of that, they didn't trust me as much. After thinking about it, I knew I needed my team to trust me if I wanted this plan to work, so I reluctantly gave Villov one of the enchants I had acquired for my killing spree. Well, Dolphin said he's gonna give us one. Uh -huh. I'm gonna give one. Wait, Loki, give it to Villov. Withdraw assassin. I hear Villov. Yeah. I also began working on a base for my team, which for a little while was the only place that C4 didn't know about. But if I wanted my team to continue trusting me, I would need to keep this base a secret for as long as I could. Luckily, after grinding for a while, I was able to finish most of the base. It had all the essentials. A villager breeder, storage, a brewing room, and even the subscribe button? Okay, look, me and my friend Quacks are racing to hit 10k subscribers, and currently he's in the lead. Not only that, but the winner gets to change the other person's profile picture for the next week. So, please subscribe. Anyways, the next day when I woke up, one of my allies was getting jumped. Luckily, I was able to make my way over and make quick work of him. And C4 actually seemed pretty happy about it. I spent the next few hours looting ancient cities for god apples, and knowing that my team wouldn't trust me if I continued killing players, for enchants, I decided to use a secondary method, trading. See, currently there's a building competition happening at spawn, so in return for some enchants, I could get the resources the builders needed. So it was perfect when a player hit me up asking for 2,000 note blocks. Thankfully, after trading with clerics for the redstone and deforesting an entire taiga biome, I had enough note blocks for the trade. I also sold a few PvP kits for enchants, but it wasn't that easy since everyone already had max gear. By this point, I was only a few enchants away from getting a diamond sword, so I decided to use the last method of getting enchants. 
enchants that I knew. Crafting. With a special recipe, you can actually make enchants without having to kill anyone. Luckily, I already had most of the resources, so all I needed to do was get the totems. And after painfully completing a raid, I was able to craft enough enchants to upgrade to a diamond sword. Now with the diamond sword, me and C4 went on a rampage. Her helmet broke, she's dead. Nice. We killed everyone we could find on site. Got him. But eventually, C4 had to go, so I kept hunting for players while he was offline. But later that day when I was at spawn, I was being 2 v one and I knew that if I died here, then C4 would think I was weak. That's when I remembered, I had a cart trap set up near spawn, and if I could get to it, I could possibly escape and use it to kill my enemies. The cart trap killed everyone, but since my enemies respawned at spawn, they were able to pick up all the loot and were now hunting down my allies. I knew that I needed to betray them eventually, but right now, I needed to get my stuff back. So I went back into the battle with some leftover gear and hoped to get a kill. I got him. Thankfully, I killed the guy who had all of my loot, but now that me and C4 had the best swords on the entire server, I knew that everyone would soon want us dead. It started a day later when I was at spawn. I saw a group of players acting suspicious around me, and sure enough, yeah, they potted, they potted, they potted, they potted, they're all, they're all on me. Luckily, I was able to escape, but I knew my remaining three teammates wouldn't be so happy if I showed them my diamond sword while they're all on wood and stone. So I figured it was time to show them the new base. But to my dismay, their reactions weren't really as impressive as I thought they would be. So, go down here. This entrance sucks, bro. And then here is the base so far. This is the base. Holy moly. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Truthfully, I was contemplating if I should really betray my team. In fact, one of my teammates actually helped me dominate the server one year ago. And betraying him here just did not sit right with me. To keep my mind off of things, I decided to look for a gold farm on the nether roof, owned by one of my greatest enemies, to hopefully make it up to my team. And after a painful amount of searching the nether roof, I found it. I decided not to kill RustyVot immediately and secretly steal gold from the farm. But in the meantime, I decided to help my teammates get tridents, just so they would trust me a little bit more. Your teammate is here! Watch all of this just for him to not drop it, bro. All of this just for him to actually drop it 3 2 one Oh man! I found Mr. Pie, I'm jumping him. Got him. I realized that I didn't want to betray them. Thanks, Dolphin. I needed that. I needed that. I needed that. Okay, Cardi, don't gotta repeat everything. What? I told C4 that if he was going to kill them, to make sure I wasn't there to help them. But as my team logged off, I took C4 to the base. And since two new recruits were grinding there, C4 had the perfect opportunity to kill them for their enchants. But before that, I made sure to distance myself so that I physically could not help them fight off C4, as well as fabricating a story about how C4 found the base. Happy with the results of that day, I went to bed knowing that my team was going to be split apart just a day later. When I woke up, I spent the last few moments with my team, because I knew I would probably never be this close with them again. And as C4 logged on, I continued pondering if betraying my team was really worth it. I mean, on one hand, we get three free enchants from it, but we also betray a team's trust and get left with no one to turn to. But before I was even able to leave the base, C4 had attacked without warning. Uh, no, so Wait, what? Are you being serious? Bro! Kill him with me, bro. What are you doing? Just standing there. I don't know, bro. Yeah, don't. What are you doing, bro? Help me, bro. Actually, yeah, actually, hold on. Help me. I'm gonna die. What is he doing? Oh, don't are just standing there doing nothing, bro. Then help me, bro. Oh, oh, oh my god. C4, bro. I don't want to. I don't want to betray this team, bro. Bro, I'm betraying them that you just let me kill him. <laughs> no, bro, you don't understand, bro. I thought you were- Okay, I thought I was gonna be a lot farther away, so I couldn't, like, come help. But, like, bro, you started attacking him right when I was there. Listen, bro, I'm gonna be honest, bro. They're sus of me. No, don't go through, bro. Don't. Bro, they already are on to you, bro. I feel like you thought about, like, getting all the enchants and, like, all the power. 
by betraying everyone, but you never like thought past what like we would do after that. Cause at that point, it's just like no matter how much like gear we well, have. Well, I don't care, bro. Like it, if I have all the inches, bro, it doesn't matter, bro. If everyone's on which sword, it does not matter, bro. I promise you. No, but like, bro, there's people who are on the server who are still like iron and diamond and stuff, bro. Like there's a whole another team. There's a whole like conflict happening. I don't care, bro. I'm not gonna stop until I get maxed out, bro. I don't care. I simply do not care. Like, bro, I could kill you right now. All right, bro. Um, I guess if you find them, just like kill them. But I'm not gonna help uh, either of you. I was left with two paths. I could either stay with C4 and completely dominate the server, or stay with my team and run the risk of being pushed around by more powerful players. To be honest, I was having second thoughts about this whole thing. I didn't even want to betray my teammates, but I also didn't want to betray C4. But I knew it was too late to chicken out now, so as a last ditch effort to get my teammates to trust me, I decided to warn them about C4's plans. So you know how we were like already planning on betraying like Silent and like all them? Yeah. Basically, pretty early into the server, um, me and C4 kind of made an alliance together. Like, ever since then, we've been killing people, trying to get enchants. Right now, I'm pretty sure C4 has, like, the best sword on the server. And from what I was, like, talking about with him, it, like, doesn't seem like he's going to stop until he's fully maxed out. What we could do, so he, like, trusts me more. Like, y'all could, I don't know, like, die to him once each. And then, like, secretly, I'm grinding enchants. I can refund all the enchants. If you guys just let him kill you once, so he thinks that I'm still with him. Heck no. Heck no. After that didn't work, I was left alone. Since C4 wouldn't trust me as much after that stunt I pulled, I figured now was a better time than ever to get another right sword and cross off my last goal. Luckily for me, the recipe had been changed to something much cheaper. All I needed to get now were some skulk catalyst, fire charges, wither skulls, and nautilus shells. And after killing Rustybot AFK at his gold farm, I was able to complete my final goal. Now, after over a week of being teamed with C4, it was finally time to kill everyone. So we went on a rampage, finding bases, killing players, oh, and robbing them of even more enchants. By now, we felt unstoppable. So I decided to go to bed, but I had no idea what I would go through the next day. As I logged on in the morning, the entire server logged on and began hunting me down. And this was all because I was teamed with C4. Seeing this, I really started questioning my decisions. I decided to lay low for a while, but I knew that I would eventually be found. Alright, yeah, Wait, where do I go? Well, I don't think it's a drop, it's um, our first drop. Oh, and Copa, mm -hmm. never mind. It's Copa and Vada. Yeah, Come here, Dolphin. Come here. I can't, bro. Do you see me? I'm full box. Okay, let me get you out. I'm getting him out of it. Bro, Art, Art can drop, bro. I, I can't drop it with the wooden sword. Can you, like, uh, I don't know. I don't bro, have any more gas, like, I might be dead. You're dead? I might be. Hey, hey drop down, uh, someone drop down. Oh. Door's base, door's base. I'm, I'm like dead, I'm dead. C4, door's base. I don't know where base. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. In that moment, I almost wished I could turn back time. From the beginning, my team may not have been the strongest, but that didn't matter to me. Yo, 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 y